Are you using Elementor and wish you could make those really sexy layouts just like everybody else? Well, the trick. You want to know the trick? Are you ready to learn the trick? The trick is to use little columns, and stretch and change and boot columns within columns. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to use columns to make your website, your layouts, your pages look amazing. Get ready, because here we go. All right, let's get into Elementor and columns. Columns, chop your page, lay out your page. I'm gonna show you some cool tips and tricks so that you can make your Elementor website, landing page, blog posts, whatever it may be, look even sexier and give you less of a pain in the neck. I was building for some clients last week using this great tool, but some things were frustrating the heck out of me, and I thought I would share those little tips with you guys. So, I'm down in the bottom right here for the whole duration, so you can see my shining pretty face. It's amazing, isn't it? All right, I hope this recording is going well. I'm doing it a little bit differently this time, using ScreenFlow, because the other tool I was using was annoying me to no end. So, columns. Simplest way to make columns is to add a new section. And you get this amazing array of choices and you can choose what you want to do. There's two approaches here. You can choose more or less the column layout that you want. So that's usually a great way to go. But in the next section, I'm going to show you some tricks which will change your mind about whether or not you do this. So if you know exactly what you're going to do and it's text image 50-50 or something like that, then we'll choose the two column layout like that. And then we'll grab our text and then we'll go back and we'll grab our image and we'll select an image and we'll throw that in. And we're good to go, right? You can hover in the middle and grab this little line with this little moving thing and you can change the proportions. Don't entirely recommend this. You should try and keep to fairly fixed proportions, thirds, halves, quarters, something like that for a nice styled layout. If you want to change how far apart things are, you can go to the column and change the amount of gutter or width of the columns, things like that um, with the spacing put some more padding around elements. I wouldn't necessarily change the columns themselves unless you have a very specific reason for doing that. Maybe you do. If you do, you can email me and tell me and say, Ashley, I have a really specific reason for doing that. Stop bothering me. But if you don't, leave it like this because it looks nice to have kind of fixed layouts like this. And then you can duplicate them. Maybe you can move the image on the left and then you can take the text on the right and then you have a kind of a left right left right layout that Apple typically uses and looks great and is nice and aligned as you can see so if you're doing a sales page or a product page you could do something like that describing things so if you want to add another column you can hover on the actual column and click plus and then you get a new column don't know if you knew that. If you knew that already, high five. If you didn't know it, now you're actually doing really well, like me. Smart. Woohoo! All right. So you can add new things in there. We now have thirds. I think these are reasonably well spaced. They're spaced into thirds automatically. We can add something new in here. We can delete columns like that. But what's really cool is let's say we're doing a more complex layout like this with a button here, something like uh, a services section where you're sending people to different services that you have to offer. Maybe you have a heading on the top and maybe this image is a little bit smaller and then you have a heading uh, which is currently white so we can't see it. There's your heading. Let's center it because that looks stupid. So you have a section here. Uh, the font is a little bit too large. So let's say we have three services we want to offer. What I would do is start off with actually one column like this and then center align everything, which we can do here. And then what you can do is use the duplicate column. Whoa, look at that. 
now we have three services to offer. And we would need to change the text and the heading and the picture or no picture, but we've duplicated sections really, really easily with these really cool column layout features. So that's a really cool way to make three similar sections really fast and how to duplicate your columns, edit your columns and stuff. So now you're a power user. Awesome. But we have some other issues here, which I discovered last week. Let's say we would like a colored background across multiple sections with different layouts in each section. It actually is quite difficult to do. Or is it? Actually, it's not. But if you want to edit the column, and sorry, I'm flicking around with my mouse here. That's really annoying. If you want to edit the columns, you actually have to go to the top and click on this little baby here. It's the only way you can do it, which is annoying. So Elemental Guys, if you're listening, make this easier to do. If I'm clicking out here, take me to the column section because just this little icon, that's really, really annoying. So if we want to add a background section to our column, let's say we want to add um, green. Doesn't look very nice. Then you would want to have white headings because you need contrasting colors for things to be readable. But let's say we wanted to have that. Now, if we want to add a heading to this section, say my services is the heading and you want it to be across the top and you want it to be also on the blue section, it's not really possible to do. Or if it is, let me know because I can't do it because you can't just add another section on top here. You have to add a new section and a new background. And if the background's not uniform, then it doesn't work because this section will have a different background. It's just really, really stupid. So here's what you do. You make a new section, a plain section, and then you can add your heading in here for your uh, services section. And again, it has no color, don't ask me why. So let's put it in the center and then we're gonna put in here services, services. And then if you wanna add your new sections, we're just gonna add a column element below it, which gives us the same result. So here, let's just say we delete this column and then we can copy in. You'd have to do this from scratch. Let's add in our images. I'm going to drag them all down. If, is, if there's a multiple drag and drop in Elemental, let me know because I haven't actually spent the time to figure it out yet. That would be really handy. I think there probably is. I don't know why I don't know how to do that yet. So somebody teach me something, please. All right, so now we can do the duplicate columns. And now we have the same background. So let's kill this guy and let's change the background of, oh, where did my services go? I actually want that in a new section. Huh. All right, so I've broken this, everybody. Let's do it again. New section, plain section, put my heading in there, and then let's make a new column. Let's, let's do, all right, so now we would have to copy, actually we don't want the heading, so let's delete the heading. We all make mistakes, it's not good. I'm just going to keep this short and drag the images in. So maybe we need at least two columns. But anyway, I'm going to delete all of this stuff just for clarity. So now we have one column section which we can change the background of. Or we can put an image on, but you have to be careful with that stuff. So now the whole thing has multiple columns. Hey, 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 how cool is that? You're rocking it. High fives. All right. So 
instead of making your columns as the section, you make a section and add columns. Did you notice how I did that? So I made a normal wide single column section and then I added multiple columns within that because within all Elementor elements you can add columns. So you can even do uh, columns within columns, I believe. Although it doesn't seem to want me to do it. Can we not do columns within columns? I think we can. Seems like we can't. Alright, delete that. Maybe let's make two sections and add columns within those. So you can do that, but you can't add columns within columns. So if you want to have multiple columns in your column, you can also approach it that way, it seems. I've never done that before. Okay, and then you can construct it. It's the same way as I was just doing, but you can only do it once. You can't embed columns within columns within columns. So, we just learned something extra. So as you can see, I can't now drop another column in there, which is a shame, because some other page builders like Thrive allow you to do that. But, you can have columns within your first section batch of columns. So if you do section columns and then add columns, you can do it that way. So here we have one section column with two sections. And if we then want to add uh, a three column layout in here, we can also do that. So you can have one, two and three. So as long as you have one container column, you can actually make multiple layouts within that. So super powerful. You have backgrounds, you have multiple column layouts, you have duplication of columns, you can delete columns, you can even do the alignment of columns as I said if you have, if you want more of a gap, say if we duplicate this one here and we're not happy with the gap between them, you can also make the gap a bit wider. Doesn't seem to be, oops, I'm on the wrong columns here. Let's make that column gap wider. So you can play around with the columns. It would be nice to actually have a physical way of doing that. It doesn't seem to work at the moment, but that's pretty much your column power hits for the day. Multiple columns, working with columns. I've heard enough about columns. I've had enough. So all I need you guys to do is give me a thumbs up down here if you enjoyed this one. I would really appreciate that. It's the only way I can grow this channel. If I can't grow this channel, then I'm going to have to give it up because, yeah, it takes me tons of time to do this stuff. It's not easy. It's time consuming. I love teaching you guys stuff, but if I don't get any reward, then, pff, yeah, it's kind of depressing. So, and if it's depressing, then I'm not going to do it anymore. Would you do it if it's depressing? Probably not. Anyway, I'd love to see you guys in the next video. If you can turn up and see your smiling faces, that would be awesome. And I will see you guys, or at least you'll see me, right? I won't see you, but I'll kind of pretend I see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. And the other videos are shown here in the uh, big clickable buttons here that YouTube happily gives us. I don't know what they're called, but anyway, enjoy.